the British Property Federation has taken a risk, under the leadership of none other than Mark Allen, CEO of Land SEC. They have formally blacklisted Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, making it impossible for them to buy any new homes in the UK. That's right, people, the royal couple won't be getting any new homes. Now, this recent development has divided views and driven royal analysts into a frenzy. Particularly in light of his alleged yearning for his life in Britain, some people think Harry may have made the decision to reunite with his family strategically. However, PR expert Kion Albi has thrown an interesting twist into the mix. According to him, this potential property purchase might be a deliberate attempt by Harry and Meghan to maintain their distance from the royal family. It's like a chess game, and this move, my friends, is a strategic one. LB emphasizes the importance of finding a balance between personal freedom and staying connected to the institution that has been a significant part of their lives. Yet, it seems that finding that balance remains elusive for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The rift within the royal family continues to widen, and this latest development is like adding fuel to the fire. Another PR expert, Matt Janjewski, adds a different perspective. He believes that this move, or even the mere speculation of it, will generate press for Harry and Meghan. Well aware that acquiring a house in the UK will keep the rumors and speculations alive, ensuring they stay relevant in the public eye. It's a bold and calculated strategy that firmly keeps them in the spotlight. But the speculation doesn't just revolve around property, it's intertwined with family dynamics as well. Will Harry use this geographical closeness to his estranged father and brother as an opportunity to mend fences? Some say he might, especially since his children, Prince Sari and Princess Lilat, are far from their extended family. However, one royal expert, Richard Fitzwilliam, pours cold water on any hopes of Meghan returning to the UK. He believes it's unlikely, and the same applies to Archie and Lily. Harry, on the other hand, finds himself in a bit of a bind. He has serious concerns about security in an ongoing case against the Home Office, indicating he is not ready to call the UK home just yet. Even a request to stay at Windsor Castle was reportedly denied by the King himself. It appears that the doors are closing on Harry and Meghan in the UK, leaving them in a precarious position. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle had not idea what was expected of her the day she stepped into the royal family says Queen Elizabeth II's pal. Lady Glencore extends his sympathies with the Duchess of Sussex over her naivety ahead of marrying Prince Harry. Speaking to broadcaster Giles Brandreth at the Barnes Book Fest, Lady Glencore said, I think the thing about Meghan was, she had no idea what was expected of her really. I think, Meghan, just thought it was sort of like being another actress, you know. Riding around in a golden coach and everything like that. Speaking about Queen Elizabeth II's younger sister, Princess Margaret, the pal added, and actually, being a member of the royal family, I followed Princess Margaret for 34 years, a lot of it is extremely boring, dedicating stuff, meeting hundreds of thousands of people you're never going to meet again, always trying to say something interesting and nice. I think it is very sad, and I feel very sad for Harry, she adds.